warning, due to adult subject matter and strong graphic language the Adrian Lozano show could be deemed offensive for any and all persons. You have been warned. Now enjoy the Adrian Lozano show. Oh my weeping willikers. This is Adrian Lozano and this is episode 93. Nine. Three. I am surprised at myself. I'm still doing this. Why, Lozano? Nobody's listening. It's okay. I'm doing this for future generations. Will there be any future generations? There'll be the next generation. Riker will be there. And Data will be there. And we'll all feel a little bit more futuristic. Don't you agree? If you don't, call 1-900-I-DON'T-AGREE-YOU-JERK. Additional charges may apply. So, I am... Really, 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 oh, I don't know, recovering from a nervous breakdown? Poorly? You should have put poorly before recovering. I before E except after recovering, right, shit, fuck, okay, next week, grammar, okay, so, um, Folks, I am really, really trying, you know, but just like um, when a loved one decides to take their weenus and, um, well, no, I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so look, episode 93, if you haven't listened to any of my other episodes, fuck you, okay? Um... This show is like therapy for me, like therapy, because it's not actual therapy. Now look, in a book, right? Okay. Um, take a look in this book, and then it's just like she opens her legs and it's a book right there, and you're like, okay, I'll read that. I saw that, um, everybody's seen that. Everybody's seen a book between somebody's legs. What are you doing, Lozano? This is your show? Is this how you start, 93? No, no, no. Yes, and yes. The most important thing to remember is you always want to measure it twice. Right? Okay, cool. Look, I'm dealing with a lot, but then again, who isn't? Let's laugh at some stuff. There's all kinds of funny stuff that happened. Little Richard died of bone cancer. That's not really funny, but it happened. Okay, I'm off to a terrible start here. Let's, let's think about something more positive. Um, uh, stuff starting to open back up again. Boy, doesn't it suck wearing masks? Um... Don't you wish that people would wear the Batman cowl? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to um, take a shot of some go juice, and then have some goji berries, and then talk to Goku. I'll see you shortly. For you, no time will have passed. For me, days. Fucking days! Woo! Remember End of Days? That was a weird movie. I like Kevin Pollock and Schwarzenegger. We are just reading Forbes did all the work. Editors pick 471,062 views, April 18, 2020, 07:41 p.m. EDT. Google issues warning for 2 billion Chrome users. 
Gordon Kelly Senior Contributor, Consumer Tech. I write about technology's biggest companies. Google just gave its 2 billion Chrome users a brilliant, if long overdue, upgrade, but it doesn't mask all of the controversial changes, security problems and data concerns which have worried users about the browser recently. And now Google has issued a new critical warning you need to know about. Google. Google Chrome. Chrome Browser, Chrome Update, Chrome Privacy, Chrome Security. Google has warned users to upgrade Chrome urgently, plus. Soper Images, L-I-G-H-T-R-O-C-K-E-T via Getty Images. More from Forbes. Google's new tab groups reinvigorate Chrome Browser. By Gordon Kelly. Picked up by security specialist Sophos, Google has quietly issued a warning that Chrome has a critical security flaw across Windows, Mac and Linux and it urges users to upgrade to the latest version of the browser, 81.0.4044.113. Interestingly, at the time of publication, Google is also keeping the exact details of the exploit a mystery. In a blog post, all Google divulges is the codename for the exploit, CVE 20206457, and a vague description, use after free and speech recognizer. Do some digging, however, and you will find the exploit has been marked as reserved by the U.S. government's National Vulnerability Database. Shedding some light upon this, however, is Sophos which explains. I and some cases, use after free bugs can allow an attacker to change the flow of control inside your program, including diverting the CPU to run untrusted code that the attacker just poked into memory from outside, thereby sidestepping any of the browser's usual security checks or, are you sure, dialogues. That's the most serious sort of exploit, known in the jargon as RCE, short for Remote Code Execution, which means just what it says, that a crook can run code on your computer remotely, without warning, even if they're on the other side of the world. If Sophos is right, it makes a lot of sense that Google would consider the exploit serious enough that it wants the details kept secret from potential hackers before most Chrome users have upgraded and are safe. Chrome 81.0.4044.113 is rolling out for Windows, Mac and Linux right now. You can check your version of Chrome by clicking the three vertical dots in the top right corner of the browser then navigating to help greater than about. As long as you are running this version, or above if you are reading this post at a later date, you are safe. If not, you must update urgently, something Chrome should prompt you to do on its about page. And here's the upside, if your version of Chrome is out of date, you're not only vulnerable to potential attack, you're also likely to be missing out on Tab Groups, Google's brilliant new tab organization feature. So, in this case, protecting yourself also comes with an upside. Underscore underscore underscore. Thank you Gordon. More on Forbes. Google's new Tab Groups reinvigorate Chrome Browser. Google confirms serious Chrome Browser vulnerabilities, issues important fix. Google Chrome 80 released with controversial deep linking upgrade. Data warning for Google Chrome users, update, fixed. Get the best of Forbes to your inbox with the latest insights from experts across the globe. Gordon Kelly he is an experienced freelance technology journalist, he has written for Wired, The Next Web Trusted Reviews, The Guardian and the BBC in addition to Forbes. Also on Forbes Consumer Tech. Five of the best wireless earbuds you can buy now. Apple's Mac Pro offer is an expensive fail. Copyright 2020 Forbes Media LLC. Hello there, this is your friendly, unfriendly neighborhood, Adrian Lozano, coming at you. And I am happy to be here. But is anybody really happy to be anywhere? Pretty sure they are. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Why? Oh, why did you have to leave? And meow, meow, meow. I've been meow. For having someone to meow on. Now I'm meow. Baby, I'm meow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I'm not a fan of that song as much anymore. It got played out, in my opinion. Maybe it's good, you know, once a decade. When you've got time, you know? <sighs> a lot of music out there, folks. Yours truly has fallen into a rut. I listen to nothing that gives me any emotion as of lately. <laughs> Why? Well, blah, blah, blah. sorry about that. I apologize. I'm trying to work on my enunciation. Well, it comes down to this. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, so... Well... I'm doing the best with what I got. That wasn't... Did you stay on topic? Stay on point. Finish your sentences and complete your thoughts. I'll never do that. Because Don DeLinger is a funny name. And I heard it on The Simpsons. When I was just a lad. Anyway, so... Uh, I've been, yeah, I've been totally just listening to Rings of Saturn constantly and not listening to anything that uh, makes me feel, um, you know, emotions. Why? Well, because I get like three seconds into a song that somebody wants to share with me and I'm like, okay, I'm done. It's got feels. And, um, well, sometimes I think I'm capable of going back and listening. Man. I am totally, like, reverting back to what I was before I ever met me. Now is the winter. No. Now it's just so clear how little sense I'm making. Going through a lot of shit, folks. But you know what? The show, she will always continue, even afterwards. Because we've got... Somebody next in line. Isn't that right? Yes, that is my lovely little ho-ho. Ho-ho? You'll, uh, first you'll hear segments like uh, conversations with ho-ho. And then we'll move on to cooking with ho-ho. And then, at last, it'll be the ho-ho show. Show show. She's a good girl. And she's hilarious. She'll look right at it. No shame. Oh, boy. Okay, so, check this out. I am super... Well, I am Sofa King. Okay. Um, sofa King. <sighs> I love Aqua Teen. Hunger McForce. Yeah. Your food. We're food. Okay, cool. So, what's going on with the show? Get back to the show. You're going to do something entertaining, right? You're, you're going to entertain us. This isn't going to be just you rambling. Nobody wants to hear you rambling and your cat cleaning itself. Itself? Yeah, it's an it. Like, cousin it. Meow, 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 meow. So, I've been taking a real deep dive into the Adams Family. Like, super deep. Like, hip deep. Um... Didn't know that they were a comic back in the day um, in the old newspaper thing that used to be a thing. They actually um, started off like that back in 38. So, wow. Wow. Um, how am spare you all those terrible jokes? They suck. But it's, um, it's, uh, maybe it's a Texas thing. Wow. Meow. I meow, so. You never know. And... They said unto him, Wow. Ranch. I think of the ranch tooth. Does anybody remember the ranch tooth? I think it was Adam Carolla. And it's like, I got a craving for ranch. Ranch. No? I know I've mentioned this before, but look. If I mention it at least one more time, it might be funny. And that's asking a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and germs, dudes and dudettes is what I prefer. Dudes and dudettes. Because it's classy. It's a classy chassis, baby. And you know... I'm always going to be listening to Rings of Saturn. I'm listening to fucking Rings of Saturn right now! Oh my god! But it's okay. It's alright. I'm okay. 
watched the birdcage it's fucking horrible um what they ask what the son asks of his father that's that's fucking horrible um yeah it's pretty bad that's that's it's really difficult to watch as an adult you just are hurt so bad it's so fucked up um yeah the movie should have been just the movie should have ended when Robin Williams was like, fuck that senator, and he walked out. Credits. The end of the movie. The Birdcage. It would have been hilarious. Because, I don't know, it was difficult to watch like Nathan Lane and Robin Williams be made so uncomfortable. It was fun to watch Hank Azaria, though. That shit was hilarious. And by that shit, I mean everything he did. His accent, his dance moves, his singing, everything. It was just, motherfucker stole the show. Every, every scene he was in, he's crying, he's making terrible... Anyway, look, it's, um, it's a movie that I remember very much enjoying. And boy, um, I don't know why I did. I don't know why I enjoyed it so much. Because I, I guess I didn't understand the concept. I just was laughing at the... Um, the performances and the circumstances, I wasn't really looking at the content at its core. It was super fucked up, you know, but um, I still have mad respect for Robin Williams and Nathan Lane for delivering amazing performances as per usual. And um, I guess just keep an open mind when you watch it. But if you're all like conservative and uptight or whatever... Just uh, do a Gene Hackman and put on some ladies' clothes. Boy, there was a lot of shots of him in ladies' clothes. And I'm not knocking it. I'm a big Eddie Izzard fan over here. Also, I, um, you know, am uh, a fan of women's panties. But I'm not wearing women's panties. I just like them because they work as a mask whenever you got to go to the store. You know, because this whole, like, you got to wear a mask. I got your mask right here. Okay, moving on. So, how about we get into the rest of the show? I am serious about the uh, conversations with Le Ho Ho. And then eventually the show will be hers. And then she will program Robot Voice, and that shall be interesting. Mm, we shall see. All right, then. Berenstein Bears... Berenstein Bear. I gotta stop using that. I gotta get me a new joke. Let's go with, um... Tiddly My Winks? No, that's terrible. That's, that's horribly offensive. How about, um... We'll return after this short message. <laughs> In dictionary, encyclopedia and thesaurus, the free dictionary. For fuck's sake, word, article starts with ands. Check out Adrian Lozano show on Twitter and Facebook. For fuck's sake, rude slang and expression of annoyance or frustration at what someone is doing or at a situation that is unfolding. Oh, for fuck's sake, you know I wasn't trying to hurt you, so stop acting like a wounded puppy. Stop playing your music so loud, for fuck's sake. See also, Sake, Farlex Dictionary of Idioms. Copyright 2015 Farlex, Inc., all rights reserved. Want to thank TFD for its existence. Tell a friend about us, add a link to this page, or visit the Webmasters page for free fun content. Link to this page. Less than or href equals https colon slash slash idioms dot the free dictionary dot com slash for plus fuck percent twenty seven s plus sake greater than for fucking hash thirty nine s sake less than a greater than Facebook 
Twitter, idioms, for anything, in the world, for old lang syne, for old lang syne, for old time sake, for better or worse, for certain, for Christ's sake, for crying in a bucket, for crying out loud, for days on end, for dear life, for donkey's years, for England, for England James, forever and a day, for example, for fair, for fear of, for fear of something, for fear of doing something, for fear that, something, fuck you that's why, for good and all, for good measure, for good or ill, for good reason, for goodness sake, for gosh sakes, for heaven's sake, for Pete's pity sake, for hire, for hours on end, for instance, for its own sake, for keeps, for kicks and for laughs, for giggles, for laughs, for life, for long, for love, for love nor money, for fear that, something, for food only, for freak's sake, for free, for fuck's sake, for fun, for further assignment, for further clearance, for further credit, for further information, for further observation, for further study, for further transfer, for future reference, for future use, for gamers by gamers, for giggles, for girls by girls, idioms and phrases, free tools, copyright copyright 2003-2020 Farlex, Inc. Wiktionary, for fuck's sake, prepositional phrase it, for fuck's sake, idiomatic, colloquial, vulgar, an expression of anger or frustration. For fuck's sake, mate. Stop shooting at me. Synonyms. For goodness sake. For mercy's sake. For pity's sake. For God's sake. For heaven's sake. For Pete's sake. For Christ's sake. Derived terms. Abbreviation, FFS, FFS. Translations. Hide expressing anger, frustration. French Putin, FR, Putin de Merde, FR, Putin de Bordel de Merde, FR, Nom de Dieu, FR. German, verdammt nochmal. Greek, game o to game o to, game o te, game o t. Icelandic, I gana benem. Italian, e che cazzo. Polish, de kerwi nedzi, pl. Portuguese, puta murder, pt, pelo ama de deus. Swedish, for I helvet. Last edited eight days ago by Romanophile. Wiktionary. Content is available under CC by SA 3.0 unless otherwise noted. For Fuck's Sake is the eighth studio album by British band The Nightingales. The album was a limited edition self-release and was recorded in September 2013 at the Faust Studio, Schier, Germany. Thank you for listening. Hopefully you can hear the ice cream truck in the background. It's only, oh, I don't know, 8.40 in the p.m., this is uh, your unfriendly neighborhood, Adrian Lozano. As I say, five to nine times per episode. My goodness, people, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. For fuck's sake. I know that I've uh, been throwing around that term, but it's one of those things that you have to do in order to feel important. Or as they say in France, importante. So, ah... Uh, what have we learned today, folks? We've learned that I can sigh with the best of them. Nobody's better. Well, I don't know. My cats are pretty good at sighing. When you hear a cat sigh, you know he's upset or she's upset. Because, man, it's sad. Anyway, I guess it's like a dog sigh. But I feel like a dog would fart before he'd sigh. It's one of those kind of like, did you just... I'm going to say that was a sigh. And then you're just going to get up and casually walk away and open a window or what have you. Now, I know these important life lessons are something you have to get used to. Really, just as long as you keep listening. Please keep listening for the love of God. All right. I am done with the life lessons for meow. However, I do want to let you know that I'm uh, constantly generating weird content over on Instagram and YouTube. I'm looking for... Um, Anybody that's uh, feeling like doing an act of kindness, just click a subscribe uh, over there on the tube. Um, it would be much appreciated. Other than that, I am still working on getting the best quality content out to you folks. Till then, you're going to have to deal with the show, as is, because 
I love you. Aww. Aww, shucks. If only I wasn't fully clothed. But thank goodness I am. For everyone's sake, I tend to record quite briefly. But who does that anyway? I guarantee you, you would not be as entertained if you were to see me right now. You wouldn't be. You'd be like, what has this guy got? Who does he think he is? I mean, he's probably just sitting in some recliner, taking it easy. Probably has no idea what hard work is. This douchebag. I mean, who the fuck really gets off like that? I bet you he's even eating snacks. He's probably got some Pop-Tarts laying around somewhere. Now, don't forget, folks. This is a comedy show intended for the poipuses of humor. I'm going to pop in after this uh, next funny segment, and you're going to love it. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you shortly. Shortly. <laughs> Clinking glasses. Hey, warning, warning, warning. No one under 18. So warning. 3. Radioactive. Point 2. Biohazard rocks. Point 1. From San Antonio, we present a show for people who love candy lollipop chocolate bar donut, cookie honey pot, also, hot beverage teacup birthday cake, shortcake pie fish cake dango fortune cookie rice ball load and dumpling bento box curry rice, steaming bowl green salad pizza or pretzel, cheese wedge any kind of cheese how good is cheese or cheese, and, and and I'm not going anywhere without my cut of meat, poultry leg and ear of corn, broccoli with croissant, baguette bread, or, meat on bone, no, hamburger, maybe, taco, extra beef stuffed flatbread, cooking, dot, pancakes, avocado, what about, and or mushroom something like a mushroom, wow look, T-Rex T-Rex sauropod unicorn face shooting star sparkles, monkey face speak no evil monkey hear no evil monkey see no evil monkey blossom sunflower, rosette cherry blossom hibiscus tulip wilted flower rose bouquet fairy super villain zombie prince princess detective face with symbols on mouth thought balloon brain eyes eye ear what it is is a real funny groovy wicked gnarly and make sure you treat yourself to more awesome content at adrian lozano show on instagram twitter and youtube okay so if you listened last week I did something with the not not. Now, I didn't finish that something because I had uh, an issue with robot voice. So, let's finish that something. If this sounds familiar, just keep listening. It gets better. Thank you. It is not not made by hand. There are two not s here. Is this sentence right? If yes, what kind of sentence is it? http colon slash slash corpus 2.bu.edu slash globe slash and you type not not in it you can find there are lots of examples here asked feb 11 14 at 7 colon 21 edited feb 11 14 this is a great question and really interesting to expand a bit on what Morlick V says, which I agree with, I think this could have a few different meanings, depending on context, emphasis. Something in between the negative and positive. Something more complicated than either the negative or positive, or a disagreement with something which has been said. What all three of these cases have in common is that they all follow on from, or respond to, an idea or statement that the thing is, or is not made by hand. To try and make this clear, I'll give some examples. 1, 2, made by hand, might imply that something is 100% made by hand, with no help from machines, a very narrow category. Or, it could mean anything which is made with some use of hands, e.g. someone uses their hands to make some of it, or to operate a machine to make it, a broader category. When two people talk about this, they may use double negation to show that there is ambiguity, a difference in definitions, or that it is not as simple as yes, no. 
In both of these cases, the second knot would be verbally stressed. Imagine Bob is admiring Alice's shirt, which is fabulous. Bob. I like your shirt, Alice, it's fabulous. Alice, thanks. I made it myself. Bob. Oh wow. A handmade shirt. Alice, thanks, although I used a sewing machine, so it's not really made by hand. Bob. Well, it's not not made by hand, either. Bob would likely stress the second, not very clearly, and the interpretation would be either. I agree that it's, not, 100% made by hand. But it's, not, 0% made by hand, either, in between the negative and positive, or. I agree that it's, not, 100% made by hand. But just because it's, not, 100% made by hand, that doesn't mean that it's, 0% made by hand, more complicated than yes, no. It could easily be a mixture of the two. Another example of where one or two might apply. A, don't put cream in my coffee, I'm allergic to milk. B, but it's not milk, it's cream. A, yes, but it's not not milk, I can't have it. 3. The matter could also be a simple disagreement with what someone said putting, not, in front of a quote of their statement, not made by hand. A, check out my badge. I made it by hand. B. That's not made by hand. A. It's not, not made by hand. Don't be so rude, I made it myself. B. Oh, sorry, I just meant it looks professional. Do you sell them? Here, there is no significant stress on the second not, maybe a light stress on, not, and or, not made by hand. Share improve this answer follow. Answered. Feb 11, 14 at 17 colon 03. Chris M. 524 33 silver badges 44 bronze badges up vote zero down vote it's two negations meaning the positive i think we asked them not not to publish it but to delay it we should see this probably like asterisk we asked them not not to publish it but to delay it source https colon slash slash l dot stack exchange dot com slash questions slash one seven two eight two slash is dash this dash sentence dash at dash is dash not dash not dash made dash by dash hand dash correct Wellity, 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 wellity. This is going to wrap it up in a nice, neat, well, semi-neat, a nice kind of wrinkled, it's newspaper. Look, we wrapped your gift in newspaper because you're going to just tear it up anyway. So, like, why are we going to waste money on wrapping paper? There's no point in wasting money. We even used the funnies. Go wash your hands. Just just go wash your hands. They're covered in ink. It really, it's just, just for fuck's sake. All right. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed the show. I know I enjoyed the show. I often like it more than I thought I would initially. I can't help that, folks. I often doubt myself, and then I surprise myself, and then there's nobody around to see it, so I'm like, ta-da! So, yep, that's how she goes, but oh well. At least I'm still here and I'm still doing it. Kicking it old school sideways style from behind. Now, as always, thank you so much for listening. Thank you, C.W. O'Reilly, for the theme. Thank you, everybody who tells anybody about the fucking show. You rock. If you've ever told anybody about, about this show, whether it was in a good way or a bad way, I'm getting so excited. Whether it was in a good way or a bad way, at least you told somebody about the show. And that's cool. I appreciate that. Um, enjoy the rest of whatever the hell it was you were doing, and I will see you next week. Also, you have uh, the right to remain silent, and um, I've got a labyrinth commentary coming at you pretty soon, and one day I'm going to watch Murder Party. I guarantee you I will. One day. Thank you. Listening to the Adrian Lozano Show. You have been listening to the Adrian Lozano Show.